Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Friends, in today's video, I am going to introduce all of you with our SMS culture of my state Assam. And we all of us know that Assam is a state in the northeastern part of our country. Assam is the meeting ground of diverse cultures. The culture of Assam is traditionally a hybrid one, developed due to cultural assimilation of different ethno-cultural groups under various political economic systems in different periods of history. The natives of the state are known as Asomia or Assamese, which is also the state language. And in Assamese, Asomia is pronounced as Ahomia. Assam has a large number of tribes like the Boro, Kasari, Karbi, Miri, Mismi, Rabha, etc. Each unique in its tradition, culture, dress and exotic way of life though Assamese is the principal language of the state. A majority of the Assamese people are the Vaishnavs, who do not believe in idol worshipping and perform Nam Kirtan where the glory of Lord Vishnu is recited. The two important cultural and religious institutions that influence the cultural fabric of Assam are the Hotros and the Namghar. The Hotros are the sites of religious and cultural practice which have been in existence for over 400 years. And the Namghar is the house of prayer where the Assamese people generally associate for devotional worship. Symbolism is an important part of culture in Assam and it is an ancient cultural practice in Assam which is still very important for the people. Tamulpan, Horai and Gamusa are the three important symbolic elements in Assamese culture. Tamulpan means the erika nut and the betel leaves are considered as the offers of devotion, respect and friendship. It is an ancient tradition and is being followed since time immemorable. Horai is the traditional symbol of Assam. It is an article of great respect and is being used as a vessel or container for performing respectful offering. It is an offering tray with a stand at the bottom. Traditionally, horais are made of bell metal, although nowadays they can be made from brass or silver. Hajo and Sarthebari are the most important centers of traditional bell metal and brass crafts, including horais. Gamusa is an article of great significance for the people of Assam. If literally translated, Gamusa means something to wipe the body with. It is generally a white rectangular piece of cloth with primarily a red border on three sides and red woven motifs on the fourth side. Though it is used daily to wipe the body after a bath as an act of purification, it is used for many other purposes also. It is used by the farmers and a bihu dancer wraps it around his head. It is hung around the neck at the prayer hall and was thrown over the shoulder to signify social status. Guests are welcome with offerings of a gamusa and tamulpan. It is used to cover the altar at the prayer hall that is the namghar or to cover the scriptures. An object of reverence is never placed on the prayer ground but always on a gamusa. We can say that the gamusa symbolizes the life and culture of Assam. Assam has maintained a rich tradition of various traditional crafts for more than 2000 years. Presently, cane and bamboo craft, bell metal and brass crafts, silk and cotton weaving, toy and mask making, pottery and terracotta work, wood craft, jewelry making, musical instruments making, etc. are remained as major traditions. Cane and bamboo crafts provide the most commonly used utilities in daily life. The traditional utilities and symbolic articles made of bell metal and brass are found in every SMS household. These are some of the utensils made of bell metal used in every SMS household. Assam is the home of several types of silks, the most prominent and prestigious being Muga, the natural golden silk is exclusive to Assam. Apart from Muga, there are other two varieties called the pat, which is a creamy bright silver colored silk and airy, a variety used for manufacturing warm clothes for winters. Swalkosi is the center for the traditional silk industry, whereas in almost every part of the Brahmaputra Valley, rural households produce silk and silk garments with excellent designs. Weaving is one traditional craft that every Assamese woman takes pride in. The Assamese women produce silk and cotton clothes of exotic design in their looms. 
The traditional clothes and fabrics of the Assamese include Huria, Gamosa, Japi, Mekla Sador, Riha, Tongali, Selek. Assam is the home of many ethnic groups and different cultures and is rich in folk music. There are several important indigenous traditional festivals in Assam and Bihu is the most celebrated festival amongst all. The three Bihus are Rongali Bihu, Kongali Bihu and Bhogali Bihu. Rongali Bihu also known as the Bohag Bihu is celebrated with the coming of the spring season and marks the beginning of the Assamese New Year. It historically signifies the time of harvest and is celebrated for seven days after Sankranti of Baisak month. Bihu songs and Bihu dances are associated with this Bihu. Kongali Bihu or the Kati Bihu is celebrated on the first day of the Kati month in Assamese calendar. This Bihu is also related to agriculture. Kongali means the poor. Because there is not much to eat at this time of year, this Bihu is celebrated by lighting lamps or candles or the diyas in front of the sacred tulsi plant and everywhere in the evening in order to worship, pray and welcome Goddess Lakshmi home. Bhogali Bihu or the Mag Bihu is the harvest festival. This Bihu marks the end of the harvesting season in the month of Mag. A bonfire is lit for the ceremonial conclusion and prayers are offered to the God of Fire. The festival is marked by feasts and bonfires. During Mag Bihu, Assamese people make rice cakes of various names such as Sunga Pitha, Til Pitha, etc. and various other sweets of coconut. Bihu is the most popular folk dance of Assam performed by boys and girls during Bihu festivals. The dancers wear traditionally colorful Assamese clothing and the dancers are accompanied by the Assamese traditional musical instruments like the dhol, pepa, gogonak, bahi, etc. The classical dance form of Assam is the Satriyanitya, pronounced as Hatriyanitya in Assamese, which represents the Satriya culture, the basis of the religious and cultural fabric of Assam. It is one of the eight principal classical Indian dance traditions and was founded by the great saint Srimanta Shankardev in the 15th century. This is an artistic way of presenting the mythological teachings to the people in an enjoyable manner. There are a lot more to know about the SMS culture beyond that which I have presented here. If you have liked the video then please hit the like button and share the video with your family and friends and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.